Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we have this 2022 Mazda CX-30 and we're going to do the front grille chrome delete installation for this vehicle. So as you can see, this is how it looks before doing the installation on the front grille. It's just a regular chrome panel. And this is how it looks after the installation. So we use the gloss black material. That way it gives the vehicle a more sportier look. If you like the product, the link for the product will be linked below. But with that being said, let's get started with the installation video. So before we start with the installation, we need to make sure we prep the panel. So all you need is water and baby shampoo mixed together in a spray bottle. Once you have your solution, spray it onto a clean microfiber towel and just make sure you remove all the contaminants that the panel may have. And also after you're done cleaning the front grill, make sure that everything is completely dry as well. That way there's no water residue left over and that remaining water does not damage the adhesive side of the film. So make sure everything is completely clean and dry. Okay, so once you finish prepping the panel, now we can start with the installation. With this one, I would recommend starting by aligning the film from this section to this design curve of the panel on the inside of the grill. So you can place the film down. That way you're able to work on this section and align it to this curve here. So make sure it's aligned just like this and make sure you're covering the whole chrome and underneath right here as well. Once you have it aligned, just lift the film carefully and just follow the design of the panel until you reach it up here. So you can use your finger to place the film as you go. Just make sure that you're covering everything when it comes to the chrome, even on the inside here. So just make sure you follow and place it and make sure not to crease the film if you do happen to encounter your fingers. So just align it, lift carefully to realign. And until you reach it here. The next step, once you place it, you'll grab your squeegee and just secure each section of the film in case there is some bubbles around the area. And if the film starts lifting around the curve, we're going to apply heat. That way we help the film sit around the curved area here and also on this section here. So grab your heat gun and apply heat on the areas where the film is lifting. For this section of the installation, you won't need to trim. The only piece you might need to trim would be this piece here, since it is overlapping on the cutout of the actual panel that it comes with. So right there, you would just grab your blade and trim off this excess material here. Other than that, everything else should be fine. So trim this piece, and then we can move on with the next piece that goes underneath here. So trim it right in the middle, just like that. Lift and trim. And just apply heat one more time, just to help the film sit, and you should be there. Okay, so now we're moving on to this section of the chrome panel. So with this one, recommend aligning this section of the film to right on the edge of the cutout where the cutout of the middle grill is located. So just place the film here. And the reason why we need to align it on this edge is so that when we are working with the film, we have enough coverage to cover this section where we left off in order to cover the chrome and also in the material to wrap around underneath here. So just carefully align it and wrap it around the panel until you reach it to the top edge here. And if you need to lift and realign it, you can. Just keep, do it carefully, that way you don't accidentally crease the film. So make sure you have enough material, like I mentioned, to cover the chrome on the top edge here. And now that our theme is good, slowly bring it down to wrap it around the curve here. So just like that. So now we're going to secure the flat surface first. And now we're going to focus on applying heat on this area first. That way we help release the tension that the film has and is able to tack underneath the curve. So apply heat, let the film cool down, and then start from the curved area and slowly work your way to the one side and then coming back to the other side. Okay, and now do the same on this side, apply heat to release the tension that the film has and just squeegee it inside. So as you can see, it's flush, everything's good. So just take your time when you're installing it around the curve and just finish it off on the top. 
And then just apply heat to set it on the top area here. And then don't forget to seal this edge here since that's the last remaining thing that must be sealed. So just apply heat and just wrap it on top of the film that was installed in the beginning. Now this is done, now we can move on with the next piece. Okay, so now we're moving on with this section of the installation on the panel. So with this one, it's just this piece to cover this section here. So just align it right on the body line. So just like that. And with this one, you give yourself a little bit more material to cover the top edge here. Just be careful not to crease it. And then we're slowly going to work our way in tucking in the film inside the grill here. So you can start from the middle and slowly work your way inside. Once you get around this area, grab your heat gun. That way you release the tension that the film may start having. Grab your squeegee, lift the film carefully, and grab your squeegee and tuck it inside. Then do the same on this side. Lift the film before you squeegee and tuck it underneath. Just like that. You may have fingers on this section here. To remove these fingers, just apply a little bit of heat to release the tension that the fingers may have. And with your finger, remove those fingers. So just like that. And then just make sure to apply heat on the top section here so you can seal this area. That way once we install the piece that goes on top, it just sits flush. Okay, and that's good. And now we move on to the last piece. Okay, so when it comes to this last installation, what you need to do is make sure you align this section of the film to the top edge underneath the panel located here. So you can place the film on one side and carefully align it to the top edge. So this may take some time, but just make sure when you align it on the top edge, everything is covered just like that. And before we actually tack everything down, lift the film carefully and sort of estimate and see if it's going to be aligned perfectly fine. So it looks like it's going to cover everything, so that should be good. So always make sure before you finish off the rest, this is properly secured and aligned because if this is not aligned, this whole section is not going to cover the chrome. So now just carefully lift the film and just adjust it as you go. And if you need to lift and realign it, you can. Just take your time doing that. So leave this section here. If you do want to realign it, you can. Just carefully lift it in order to realign it. So now we're going to focus around this area. Since the film is lifting and there's too much tension going on on this section of the curve, we're going to apply heat. And slowly, little by little, as we apply heat, we're going to tack it down with our finger, just like that. So make sure you tack down everything little by little as you go. And you should be good. And if you need to hold the film so it stays aligned, you can. Just make sure you're going to cover everything. Squeegee around this area, and that should be good. And now just continue on with the rest here and stop around this section here. Now that everything is secured on this side, now we're going to focus here. So all we need to do is lift the film and just carefully align it until you reach the chrome on this side. And because this is another curve here, we're going to apply heat, that way we reduce the chances of having wrinkles and also applying heat on top. So hold the film, apply heat, grab your squeegee, and slowly tack it down. And now work on this section. So hold the film as you apply heat to release the tension and then tack it down. Just like that and then finish it off with the lower section apply heat here as well let the film cool down and then wrap it underneath and before we trim off excess material we're going to apply heat one more time since when you apply heat the film tends to form back to its original form so we want it to shrink in order to start tacking down to the panel Now we create the outline where you need to trim off the excess material. So there's a small outline on the top section of the panel here. And that's where you enter your blade and remove this excess material. Okay. 
So now that we finished with the whole installation, the last thing to do would be to post seat the entire panel. So all you need is your heat gun and just apply heat on each section of the panel that was worked on. Also make sure if there's any film lifting around the edges, make sure to tack it down with heat. But just take your time applying heat all over the panel. And then once you're done with this step, you're done with the installation. Thank you for choosing Bower Tech Design. As a small business, your support means everything to us. If you loved your product, please drop a review. If you have questions or issues, don't forget to message us via email. Once again, thank you so much for the support from our family to yours. So that concludes the installation video for the front grill chrome delete installation for the 2022 Mazda CX-30. We hope that this video helped you guys out with the installation. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell. That way you don't miss any of our upcoming installation videos. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.